Hi, it's Valerie from Nova Scotia, and I'm not making soap today. Uh, I will start those again soon, but for today, I wanted to show you another Mexican recipe that uh, I've used for about 35 years, 30 years, and um, my family loves it. Hi, Joel and Amanda, Nikolai and Theo, Jacob and Carrie. I love you guys so much, and I miss you a lot. And here's a big hug, big hugs to you guys out there. And um, this recipe is for you too, because now you can see your mom make it. I love you guys. So this is a fabulous book that I've had for a long, at least 30 years. And I've made a lot of recipes out of there. And this recipe that I'm going to make today is called chili con queso. Anyway. Uh, it's a chili cheese dip and it's absolutely fabulous and it's incredibly easy to make. So um, I'm going to show you the ingredients now and um, then the only time I'll probably shut the camera off is when I fry up the onions. So I'm just going to actually move this camera in a bit. Okay, uh, let me see. I hope my counter's clean. <laughs> okay, so what goes in this recipe is two tablespoons, two to three tablespoons of butter. I like using real butter. Sorry, I wanted to show you that. Um, but it depends on the size batch you make. So you could use a tablespoon if you're making a smaller batch uh, or two tablespoons or three. So I've got my butter melted in here. And uh, then it calls for a half a cup of chopped onions. Uh, I put a little bit more because this batch is gonna be bigger than the original recipe, but a half a cup of chop chopped onions. It has a quarter teaspoon of salt, and uh, I probably use a quarter, a little bit more than a quarter teaspoon, but that's up to your taste. I also use a teaspoon of sugar. Uh, you don't have to, I just find it enhances the taste more. It calls for one and a half cups of cheese, because I'm making a bigger batch today. I have about uh, three cups, and it has two to three diced tomatoes, fresh tomatoes, and it calls for them to be peeled and de-seeded. Now, I've made this so many times, I don't bother peeling them too much, but today I do. Today I did. So, um, I didn't de them though. I just, um, sorry about that. I just uh, poured off the liquid instead of de them. Um, but how you take the skins off is you take your tomatoes, uh, Mine are already done, but I don't have any left. So just say, this is an orange, this is not a tomato. <laughs> okay, so say if that was a tomato, you would just turn it to the bottom and you would take a knife and you would make an X in it like that, just through the skin, not through the entire tomato. Bring a pot of water to boil and set that X, uh, two to three tomatoes, not more than that, in a pot of boiling water. Let them boil for about 30 seconds. Take them out immediately, and put them in an ice cold bath for probably 10 seconds and then turn them over and just take a knife and peel the skin off. That's how you do it. Um, and then to deceive them, you can just squeeze it out or spoon it out. But uh, I didn't do that today. Once my tomatoes were all diced up, I just tipped them over and drained out a lot of the water. And that was about a medium tomato and a larger tomato. So you have your chopped onions, your chopped tomatoes, your grated cheese, and I do add to mine, although the recipe didn't call for this, a can of green chopped chilies. Uh, they are just fabulous added to the, uh, the chili cheese dip. So those are uh, old El Paso, so I find them to be the best. I actually haven't found any other ones, but those are chopped green chilies, and they're beautiful. And um, it does call for some jalapeno peppers, but honestly, I don't use what they call for in that. That's up to you. You can. Um, what I do is I take about two slices, two round slices out of this jar of jalapeno peppers. Two slices. That's all. And I cut them up finely with a knife. And that's all I'll put in mine. Uh, if you like a lot more heat, you can add those in. And actually, the recipe calls for 
Now let me find it here again. The recipe calls for one four ounce can. Oh, it does say green chili peppers. But, uh, so there you go. I've been making this for 40 years. I thought it said jalapenos. You can learn something new every day. <laughs> okay, so this is what we have. So you can see it's a very simple, easy recipe. And uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start heating up my butter and I'm going to fry up my onions. Now when you fry up your onions, you do not brown them. You just want them to be that translucent, see-through type thing so that they're tender. And when those are all, all uh, done like that, I'm going to bring you back and we'll finish the recipe. Thank you for joining me. Hi. So when I said don't brown the onions, and I ended up, actually I ended up browning mine a bit. <laughs> so, but not, not a lot. So you do have to watch that. I think I was just in too much of a hurry. So when you have your onions all ready, then what you want to do is you just want to put everything in there except your cheese. You don't put your cheese in. So you want to put um, everything except your cheese. So you cook your onions until they're translucent in butter and then you put all the, all the rest in like your t diced up chopped tomatoes um, and your chopped diced green chilies. And you, if you're using, going to use a tiny bit of jalapeno, you can put those in too. And uh, if you're cutting up jalapeno peppers, just be really careful because you want to make sure you wash your hands afterwards and not put them in your eyes. So that was my salt and my sugar. And you don't have to use uh, the sugar or anything. You can just tweak this recipe and make it your own. So you put everything in there except the cheese. And what you do, once that's all together, you let that simmer. And it, it simmers for about uh, 7 to 10 minutes, depending on how much you have. So you just keep an eye on it. You want it to simmer for 10 minutes. So I'm going to get that camera shut off again. And uh, I'm just going to keep stirring this. Maybe my husband can come shut the camera off. <clears throat> and then you're going to you can serve these with nacho chips. Thank you, honey. So we're back. That was seven minutes. And uh, this is what mine looks now. The other thing I wanted to tell you about, the type of cheese you use can make a difference in what your dip will be like. I personally think medium cheddar is the best, but today I'm using old. And if you find, and you just add it just a bit at a time, until it melts in there. But I also find that, um, and the book says this as well, that if you find it gets a bit too dry, you can also add like a tablespoon of milk here and there until you like get it to the texture that you like. Um, this should be eaten right away, but you can put it in the fridge and save it. Um, we always do that, we always have. And uh, if you're going to uh, heat it up, you can put it in the microwave on low, or you could put it back in a frying pan and just add a bit of milk until it melts again. But uh, this is working really well. And like I said, once this is done, you're ready to eat. You can make your own uh, tortilla chips. Uh, the ones I have today are bottom ones. And I hope you like this. It's uh, pretty tasty. You just can't have one chip. <laughs> this is melting really well. This is, uh, I have mine on low, melting this. So that will all depend on the frying pan you're using. And, uh, or so I found. And your burner, your stove too. Wash your hands before you're touching your food. There we go. That's almost all done. And uh, how, how your dip will look, that's the other thing, will depend on 
uh, how many tomatoes you've used. I usually make a big batch of this when, I, when my boys are coming home. Oh, that's the other thing. This apron I have on, uh, you can't really see it there. There's a bunch of puppies down there. This apron is probably 35 years old. My oldest son, Joel, made this apron uh, when he was in school. And uh, I still have it. And it's been used many, many times. And I haul it out and wear it every once in a while. I have quite a few aprons. Uh, my husband, what, what are you doing, hon? You're not talking to me. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. So, thank you, Joel. I still have this apron. So that means a lot to me. Everything my boys give me, Joel and Jacob, means a lot to me. There, they are my jewels, my family. So there you go. So this is melted. And uh, there's the dip. Remember to thank God for your food. Thank you, Lord, for this food. And you can just dip in. And bon appetit. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Tasty. Thank you for joining me today. And I just wanted to share that recipe with it, like I did the taco shells. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye for now.